Number 71. Given the following reactions and the corresponding rate laws, in which of the reactions might the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Okay, so we have one example here. We have a elementary reaction, right? I'm going to say that this is an elementary reaction because it's only one single step that I see. So this is my elementary reaction. And what I'll put down here is that if we are talking about a elementary reaction, sometimes I call it an elementary step because it is a one single step process. So if I see one balanced equation, I'm taking it at face value that this is the only thing that's happening in my reaction. Now, the rate law that they gave us is always for a overall reaction. So this is pieces of the puzzle for the overall reaction. And it's the overall reaction rate law. But in this question, we want to know, does this elementary step or this elementary reaction equal the overall reaction. And the only time that this is going to happen when your elementary reaction equals the overall reaction is if that one single step is the only step in the whole entire process. Generally speaking, if you are talking about an overall reaction, usually you'll have two or three or four steps in a mechanism um, and then it gets crunched down altogether to produce out one single overall reaction. But that one single overall reaction is not identical to the parts, right? The sum is not the whole, the sum is not identical to the parts. But in this case, in this question, we want the parts to be equal to the whole. And if that's the case, we only want to talk about one step. So we want to basically say that can this be the elementary reaction and the overall reaction? Well, the only thing that we can do here is just see if the rate law completely matches the balanced equation. If it matches it completely, then that's the only step that's running this rate law. And just know that an elementary reaction or an elementary step has a rate law that abides by the same rules but with a kick. And here's the rate law for an elementary reaction, a single step. It's right here. Now everything looks the same. The only difference is that when you're raising your reactants, right? Rate equals K times concentration of reactants. If you're saying that it's an elementary step, you can say that it's actually raised to the coefficients. Generally speaking, if we are talking about an overall reaction that is not one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, right? Could be multiple steps. This is raised to the orders, and we can't say that they're the actual coefficients. But if you're saying that it's coming from an elementary step or an elementary reaction, that's the only, that's the only you know, uh, reaction you got. So you got to abide by the coefficients. So let's see. In my elementary reaction, I have NO as one of the reactants, and in my rate law, rate equals K, uh, times the concentration of NO. So that reactant's there. So far, so good. They have ozone, which is O3. So far, so good. Keep in mind, nobody cares about the products when we write rate laws. And let's see now, are they raised to the coefficients? In this balanced equation, I got one NO, and this NO is raised to the first. I got one O3, and this O3 is raised to the first. So everything matches. So this elementary reaction is abiding by the overall rate law. And if they are identical, will the elementary reaction and the overall reaction be the same? Yes, they will be. So in this case, yes, they are the same. Because the elementary step that was provided, the single step, is the same identical to the rate law. And the rate law is over always the overall reaction information. So if they're identical, um, then they got to be the same. This reaction, that just means that this reaction is only this single step. There is no other steps that are coming in to play here. And the overall reaction is just the one step, which is the one on the screen. And that's it. What do you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for coming here, viewing the videos, learning from us. 
Um, we really hope that you guys do great in your exams, quizzes, homeworks. We're always rooting for you. My brother and I, we truly do appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let's just keep learning. All right. Always, you know, strive to do better and yeah, let's do it. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.